I got my Sephora order from the savings event, the spring savings event. So we're doing a try on haul. You know, I love that type of video. It's my, it's one of my faves. It's one of my faves. But first I want to say, hey, what's good? It's your boy Oneg. Welcome back to another video. Yep, another one. And if you're into a try on type of haul, if you're into a Sephora situation, this is the video for you. So definitely give this video a thumbs up if you enjoy it. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so yet. And let's keep it going. Let go. So I threw on a little bit of primer um, from Laura Mercier. They sent over their uh, repackaged primers. They have the blurring one and the hydrating one, which I have on my face, which I adore. It's hydrating. It feels like a moisturizer, and it just works well under it all my makeup products basically you know what i mean there's another one it's a luminous one but yeah i just wanted to give them a shout out real quick so just to get a little sneak peek into the package that's what it's looking like it is packed to the rim packed and uh yeah i couldn't help this savings event it's, i'm in it i'm in it but what we're gonna go on first you know I purchased a bunch of the Sephora Pro brushes. I was dying to get my hands on these and try them out. Um, I think they're a decent price, but with the 20% off, no, 30, 30% off, it was like cha-ching. You know what I mean? I saved some points. So I got the 80 bronzer brush. Looks like that. The 59 Pro powder brush. Looks like that. A highlighting brush which is their 98 brush and I love that type of highlighting brush we have the 64 which is a foundation brush looks like that and then the wait did I get a concealer brush oh another brush yeah um and then the 99 which is a pro blush brush which I'm not I don't know if I'm gonna keep this one because I don't know I'm not sure oh yeah, I have another brush. This is the concealer brush. So yeah, let's open the 64 Pro brush, uh, foundation brush real quick. So yeah, they come packaged really nicely too. Look at this. Like, I think this is really, you know, I don't have a, a brush like this. I have similar stuff, but not quite like this. And it says it's for sheer coverage like sheer light coverage uh use it with liquids creams sheer applicator uh it says short sweeping motions to use it you know what i mean here's my brush i am excited to use it put some around let's see how it works you know oh look at that yep a nice precise application you know yeah, you're getting it. I think it's like this. They want you to use it. Little short uh, swipes, I guess. And this is a sheer, like, light coverage, like a light coverage, like foundation. The Kosas BB Burst Tinted Gel Cream. Yeah, I am into this brush, as I knew I would be. Look at that, oh, just the application is like very precise. Oh, is this one of the best foundation brushes I have? I don't know, maybe. I'm just a brush person, like I'm just into brushes. I just love uh, using brushes. It's fun, they're inspiring. You can never have too many brushes if you're a brush person. If you're a brush person, if you know, you know. Now we have the 71 brush. It's their concealer brush. Yeah, everything is wrapped really nicely, secured, you know what I mean? I mean, brushes are brushes. I mean, they, I'm sure they can last like a good amount of turbulence before it gets delivered. But yeah, like everything is just, it's just wrapped really nicely, you know? So this style of concealer brush reminds me of the BK Beauty uh, A506 brush. Look at that, it's very similar. 
It's a little smaller. Ooh. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Okay. And the concealer we're using is the new Say Concealer. The Slip uh, Tint Radiant All Over Concealer. I have used it. I've used it one time. I used too much of it, so I'm going to go in really light. I should have went in with the foundation as well from this, but... It's all good. So this is in the shade 13. I think it's like a medium tan. Well, I don't know if I showed you the applicator. The applicator looks like their lip gloss applicator. So we'll see. We will see. And here is the brush. So how's everybody been doing? Have you been shopping a sale? A lot of people are excited this time around. Yeah, this reminds me of the the brush from uh, BK Beauty. You know me, I just like a little bit of something, you know? So yeah, it's a medium coverage concealer, has a radiant finish. I don't know if I said any of that. But yeah, I applied less than I did last time. And I'm getting what I what I really wanted. Just a light something, you know what I mean? Like a light coverage. And this foundation, I meant this concealer brush. Yeah, it's pretty good. But yeah, we need to set this. I just want to set under the eyes really quickly. I'm going to go in with the new Laura Mercier uh, powder. They sent this to me in PR as well. This is the Translucent Press Setting Powder, the Ultra Blur. And it's in Honey. Yeah, Honey. It looks like this if you haven't seen it. A cute little compact. It's like a matte finish that's what it looks like it has a pad in there no a little puff yeah. oh this is the 59 it's a pro powder brush very secured everything is just secured really nicely I just love how the farrel is, and I think this is wood, and the synthetic hairs are very, like, very, I don't know, it just feels, it just feels soft, you know what I mean? Oh, um, it says, uh, for powders, it's a tapered setting and blending brush. But yeah, that's what it looks like, close. It's dense, but not too dense. It's soft a little bit, but dense. I don't know. Let's get some of this powder under the eyes. Okay, fits. I just wanted to dust a little powder under there, you know? You could still see that radiance under the eyes, like for the concealer, you know? This powder is thin. It didn't mesh well with the products I used the last time I used it, but I had to go in with a little less powder. Looks nice so far. Okay, let's keep moving, right? All right, I got the new CL product. This is the Sculpting Stick, SPF 30 in it. I have the shade 03 Tan. I'm into CL. Like, I really enjoy the brand. I follow the owner of the brand. She's really cool. She's a pro makeup artist. And I think this is really cool. And I'm, I like it. the packaging. It's very simple. I like the color of it. I'm just into it. All their products have SPF in it. Uh, yeah, there's the bronzer. 
That's the color. Let's see. Has no smell to it. Just easy to apply, you know. I, I enjoy stick products. The A58 brush from Ario and Morphe to blend this out. Oh, it's a really nice color. It looks, uh, yeah, neutral. Not too warm, you know? Blends out really easily. I definitely have to build it up a little bit. I mean, you could see it. Yeah. Let's just add a little more. I just wasn't sure how much to use, you know? You don't want to go in with a bunch, by the way. I mean, you could see it. I kind of like to use bronzer, bronze tour a little bit to sculpt out the face a little bit. I like to, in the out, outskirts of the face, basically. Yeah, okay. Easy to blend out. Uh, feels like a product I will reach for. I like the shade of this um, more than my Rare Beauty one because that shade is way too warm. I never know she put these back on, like these little caps. Yeah, from CL, their new little stick. Sculpt and Protect SPF 30. All right, so I did get the new Rare Beauty Soft Pinch Luminous Powder Blush in Joy, which is like a peach. Um, and they're very glittery. like. And then I got the new Give uh, Dewy Plump Collagen Cheek Tint in Hibiscus. I don't know, should I put them together or should I go in with a Rare Beauty blush? They say you should put this over a, you know what? Yeah, let's put it over. Let's start off with the Give blush. So yeah, this is the Collagen Cheek Tint and Hibiscus, which is like a rose shade. Packaging is just on point, look at that. Put a couple dots on each cheek. Let's blend this out. All right, let's use the Cinch Beauty FO3 brush to blend this out. Look at that flush to the skin. Oh, it's so pretty, too. But it does sheer out a lot. But, I mean, we could see if we could build it up. It looks dewy, hydrating. But shears out, you know what I mean? A good amount. All right, let's see if we can bump it up a little bit. I like this color. I definitely would like to get more of these. They're pretty just easy to use, you know? No mauve shade. Has a nice little healthy dew to it. You know what I mean? Easy to apply. You could probably build it up. Uh, not build it up. Um, I mean, probably depends on the brush. I sheared it out a little bit. Built it up a little bit. <laughs> um, yeah, it's cute, right? And I mean, nobody does packaging like a give. 
I picked up a pro brush. There's the 99 brush. I don't think I like this brush. It reminds me of that new one that I bought from e.l.f. And I just don't like applying my brush, my blush like that. Like, like on the side, like flat. I don't know. It's just not my style, you know? It's not my style. But this says intensity level full. You could use it with any type of product, liquid, cream, powder, um, stick. It says targeted application. Blend outwards on the apples of the cheeks and for an even application. I don't know. This is what it looks like. See, it's like flat, like, I don't know. So we'll try this out with the new Luminous Blush, Soft Pinch Blush from Rare Beauty and Joy. This is all over, like, people are raving about these. I did swatch it. Yeah. Looks like it has like a soft matte finish. Yeah. Feels like the highlighter. All right, let's go in with this 99 brush. <laughs> I'm so scared. Because I do have the brush that Rare Beauty suggests. See, their powder brush. They say you could use this for powder and liquid. I like this for liquid blush. Not really powder. It didn't work well. But maybe this special formula, it'll do something. You know what I mean? But anyway, let's go in with this one. Oh, yeah, it gives a gl it, mm, it seems like a pigmented highlighter. Put some on the other side. Yeah, this seems like a just a colored highlighter, you know? That's intense. That's intense. I'm going to have to try this on its own next time. I don't know about this one. I don't like this brush, dude. It's the brush. Why did I even use it? Yeah, this is what it's looking like. Hmm. Um it, it looks powder. It looks it looks highlighty. Highlightery. Um, I don't know. I'm gonna have to keep playing with it. This brush, I don't know. I'm gonna have to watch videos on how to use this brush. But I think I used it the right way. All right, so this is the Pro uh, Brush, Bronzer Brush, the 80. Yeah, the number 80. This is packaged really well, like. Look at that. This is the brush I was saying it looks similar to, but it's a little more, uh, it's a little more tapered. Okay. All right, let's see. Let's see what it's giving with a bronze. It says medium coverage, like a medium intensity uh, for powders all over bronzing brush. Sweep motions across the face. Sweep motions across the face. Okay. All right, let's dust this around. It's a fluffy brush, so it's not going to be like very precise just dust it around to you know it's a nice brush you know It'd probably be nice for powder as well all over powder ooh powder foundation Went all over real quick it's fluffy but like it feels really nice okay yeah. All right. All right. I'm into it. I'm into it. Another banger. Don't sleep on these brushes. I'm telling you now. Especially that you could get them in a sale. Like, I would do that. All right. I'm going to use that 56 brush to dust some powder all over the face real quick. Maybe I could tone down some of this blush a little bit. It's okay. I don't think the colors go with each other, the blush colors, but it's fine. We're just playing, you know what I mean? 
We just playing. I'm gonna have to try. I'm gonna have to try to rare beauty blush, luminous blush on its own because, or with a liquid blush that matches it, especially maybe one of the rare beauty ones that's more similar. You know what I mean? In tone. Because I don't, I'm not really living for the blush that much in person. On screen, it looks dewy and, and really, it looks, I don't know, it looks glowy, you know? Alright, I'm back. Sorry if you could hear all that noise out there. My family's over and there's no way for me to do this without y'all yeah, hearing them, probably. <laughs> um, I did add mascara, the YSL mascara, Lash Clash. The regular one, not waterproof, not the colored one, not the brown one, regular black. Look at the lashes. I did do the brows really quickly. Use my little brow gel from <sighs> NYX. And here we are. We have the highlighting brush, which is the 98 Pro highlighting brush. Pro brush highlighting number 98. <laughs> it says you get medium level. It's for every type of product. Liquid, cream, powder, sticks. You know sticks. When they say sticks, they mean sticks. Like, things like that. Um, yeah. This is what it's looking like. Let's get it out of this WAPA. The WAPA. I love this type of highlighting brush. Look at that. Ooh. What should we use it with? The Rare Beauty Highlighter. Yeah, let's use the Rare Beauty Highlighter. This one is in Mesmerize. Mesmerize. I don't know why. I should know that already. Ooh. That picked up a lot of product. I mean, I'm already glowing, but... Might as well keep on growing. I mean, glowing. This highlighter is blinding, but it's soft on the skin. Look at how it applied the highlighter very nicely. I am really glowy, like I'm very glowy. Glow, glow to the gods. Um, this highlighting brush is bomb, dude. I'm gonna throw on a little bit of setting spray or refreshing spray, just a little bit. Lys, this is the skin loyalty joint. I'm almost done with it, so I could throw it in the empties. Last product we're going to go in with is the Dewy Plump Collagen Lip Gel in Hibiscus. It's the same as the Cheek. Same shade. Uh, I have tried this on already. I just have to go in with a real a little bit. Not a really little bit, but just a, a light amount. Mm, it smells so good. Mm. She's sticky. Fragranced. She doesn't burn or anything. She's not. I don't feel like it's like plumping the lips or anything. It looks juicy and healthy. And she's thick. I don't think I would buy more shades of that. I would definitely buy more shades of the other product. But yeah, she's just thicker. If you like a thicker lip product. I guess they last longer on the lips. You know what I mean? I prefer a thinner, sheer formula that I have to just reapply constantly. Um, but yeah, I am looking very dewy. Like, very dewy. So let's throw more of this powder on really quickly. Yeah, I don't know. I don't think this powder is for me. It's all good. I want to throw a little bit more of the blush on to but I'm gonna th throw it on with their little blush brush from Rare Beauty oh this is really this applies it really nicely I can see the difference yeah I mean it was made with it you know what I mean mm. I mean you can't tell me nothing let's throw a little bit up here let's see I've been using this refer brush. It is the 14, 13, the 13 for in a corner highlight. Yeah, I just won't buy like, you know, 
full size, not full size, for um, full price. But yeah, this is my look. Shall we go through the products very quickly? Shall we do it? Yeah, let's go. The concealer from Say, it is called the Slip Tint Radiant All Over Concealer. Um, I like it if I use a less amount. It gives a nice little radiant look under the eyes. Um, I don't think the powder is meshing well with the Say products, but I'll try it with something else. But it's a beautiful match for me. I, I like how uh, thin the consistency is. Um, especially if you just put on a little bit. And yeah, I'm going to keep playing around with it. The Sculpting Stick SPF 30 from CL. I think it's a beautiful shade. Um, you can shear it out. You can build it up a little bit. The packaging is dope. It has SPF in it. Um, yeah, I'm going to keep playing around with this as well. It was easy to apply. Easy to, to use. I love an easy product. So the Give Dewy Plump uh, Collagen Lip Gel and Cheek Tint. The cheek tint is sheer, but you can build it up a tiny bit. Not a lot of pigment, but you can build it up and does have a nice, like, dewy finish to it. You know, easy to blend out. It doesn't look patchy or anything like that. It doesn't lift anything under it. Um, the lip product is a thicker formula. I like to throw on a little bit of it, like a, a real sheer amount. It's sticky. Um, yeah, it's sticky. It has a tack to it. You know what I mean? It's fragranced, very strong. I don't feel any type of plumping or anything like that, but I definitely wouldn't purchase any more shades of it. Now this cheek tint, the cheek tint, I will definitely purchase more shades. I will, I will. The Saw Pinch Luminous Powder Blush in the shade Joy. Uh, I like the packaging. At least it's not as slippery as the highlighter, and I think it's a little smaller. No, it's the same size, okay. Formula is interesting. I feel like it's a pigmented highlighter. That's what I feel like. It's a pigmented highlighter. Um, you can see the shimmer on the skin. It is a unique formula like the highlighter. But I need to try it out by itself. Or with one of the liquid blushes that it, you know, it's meant to be with. Because I think that's what they said. Put it over one of their liquid blushes. Um, but I think Joy, the liquid blush, um, it's dewy. So that way, I mean, I don't know. We'll see, we'll see. I'm going to keep playing around with this. Should we get into all the Sephora Pro brushes? I think they're bomb, dude. Um, let's go through them real quick. I can tell you offhand the blush brush, 99. I just don't like this type of applicator. I don't know. I just don't like this type of applicator. Like, I'm just being honest with you. I'll keep playing around with it. If anything, I will return it and pick up a different brush. Love the 64, the foundation brush. You get a sheer light coverage, and that's the type of, you know, that's the type of, that's the type of coverage I enjoy. I like the angle, like the shape of it. It is very like, I don't know. It's 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 a unique shape for a foundation brush. The concealer brush, the 71 amazing dude it fits right in where you need it to reach um yeah works really well shears out the concealer if i need it or built it up so yeah the powder brush this one is amazing go where you need it to go you know what i mean and not where you don't need it to go <laughs> yeah i like the the flimsiness of it but it's stiff too like a perfect mixture but this fluffy uh bronzing brush i mean it's not huge that it just goes all over but it does dispense the blush no the bronzer really well so like you know i'm into it i'm into it and if i'm gonna tote down you i mean i think i could use it as a powder brush too you know and then of course the highlighting brush i enjoy it just get a precise application where you want it nowhere else it's not you know flying highlighters not going all over the place just where i need it you know what i mean so yeah i'm into that as well i like some things on my makeup but some things i don't like about my makeup but yeah this is where we're gonna end it so definitely give this video a thumbs up if you enjoy it subscribe if you haven't done so and yeah i'll catch you on the next one deuces